Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining me for today's Lunch and Learn. I'm Keith Armour. I'm the Education Homework Support Manager down here in the Adult Learning Center at the main library. Today, we're going to talk about transparent language online. It's where you can learn to speak uh, different languages um, for your next trip or uh, you just want to learn something new. The dog days of August are kind of crazy because you don't really want to do anything. And some of you might be uh, yearning for that overseas trip, but you need to learn a little bit of the language if you're going to go to a foreign country. So this is a great opportunity. It's a total free service. And um, I just think that's something that we need to look at. So we're going to look at transparent language online. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Well, all right, you should all be seeing our wonderful website, CincinnatiLibrary.org. Now, the resource that I'm going to show you today, you should and need to have a library card. So to get a library card, you just go over to Services, and right underneath Using the Library, it's the second one down, it says Get a Library Card. Now, of course, uh, you should be a resident of the state of Ohio. Uh, you can be a member of the regional library system. Uh, you can be a temporary or transitional resident of Hamilton County. You can be a property owner of Hamilton County. You can even reside in Boone, Campbell, and Kenton County, Kentucky. And as long as you have a valid library card with them, you can get a library card with us. It, we have several different types of cards. Uh, to use this resource, you can have a regular or all these cards. Or if you just want to use our digital services, you can just get a downloadable only card. And that is all of our digital resources you have. Of course, uh, you can fill this out uh, to get started. Um, if you are just renewing your library card, you already have one, you just need to renew it. Give us a call at 369-6900. And of course, come to your local branch. And we would be more than happy to sign you up for a library card, your whole family up for a library card, and also you could uh, browse the stacks and find some materials right then and take them home the very same day. But we're gonna go back to the main page. We're gonna come over to this left-hand side, the blue section where it says research databases. We're gonna click on that. And then right here under lifelong learning, we're going to click on language learning. Now, language learning has two things under it. You've got Signing Savvy, which is just a great tool because if you want to learn American Sign Language, it is wonderful because they will not only show you uh, the signs, but they will have video of someone making the sign and you can play it over and over again until you have it perfected. Uh, it, it was really a great one. And I did a, about a year ago, I did a um, Lunch and Learn on Signing Savvy. So definitely check that out. I've also done one on transparent languages before, but I thought I'd, I'd update the video for you. So um, it is teach yourself over 100 different languages. And you click right here. Now, when you're outside the library, what's going to happen is they're going to ask you to put in your library card number and your PIN. Once again, come to the branch and the nearest branch and sign you up for a library card or if you need to renew, 369-6900. Now, to sign up the first time for transparent languages, uh, language, sorry, uh, you just need to click on this tab, sign up, create a username. It could be a very simple username. You have to put in your name and an email, and then you have to put in a password. The password's either six, it has to be between eight and 64 characters long, has to have an uppercase, a lowercase, and of course, it has to have one number. And you put it in here twice. If you want to receive um, updates, um, you definitely want to click here, and then you want to read the terms of use and the privacy policy and click here and then create an account. That's how easy it is to create an account. But you have to have that library card first. Now, when we go to about here, this is what I think is great. Another reason why I really like this service. 
uh, transparent language online is very different um, than other ones. Number one, it's free, which I always like the word free, but you have some insight and review. So you learn the vocabulary items and the chart tells you how many words and phrases you've learned and when it's time to review. You have all sorts of different practice activities. You've got the core skill building activities and you even have enhanced capability because you can use it across devices. So say you started on the computer, but then you are um, on a trip. You could use it on a tablet uh, as long as you sign into your account on a tablet or on a mobile device you are able to have access and it's going to bookmark your spot every time you finish. All right. So I'm going to click on login. Now I've already got, I got a login. So let me click in. And right here is welcome to Japanese. And, but I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to browse. Okay. Now when browse, this is English alphabet course, a grammar lessons, welcome lesson. There's all sorts of things that you can get started on. There's even an American citizenship course on here as well. Uh, just lots of different ways that you can learn. Now I'm going to click up here under English and I'm going to then click on more languages. Now, here is the list from A to Z of all of the different languages that you can learn with transparent language, free with your library card, okay? Now, a couple of things I wanna point out. The yellow is the different dialects that are available, okay? So with French, you've got three dialects that are available. You've got an, a, uh, Arabic, you've got four dialects. Uh, when it comes to Spanish, you've got uh, two dialects available. And a lot of people realize that there's a Latin American style Spanish, and then there's the Sp Spanish style Spanish from Spain. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of jumped around there. Um, but that's what's really cool about this is that you want to learn um, that particular area that you're going to, you're gonna learn that particular dialect. Um, but all of the other ones are up here. Um, and what's really cool also is the green here. So if you have Chinese, it says kids speak is available. So if I click on Chinese, I see I've got Mandarin and Cantonese, and then I have even for other speakers, I've got Latin American Spanish speakers, Turkish speakers, how they would learn Chinese, but I have a kids speak. So if I click, click on kids speak, you'll notice that all of these lessons are gonna center around, um, they're gonna be very childlike to help children learn how to speak Chinese, okay? and very short little um, little lessons along the way. Now I'm gonna change mine real quick. I'm gonna go back to languages and I'm going to go here and I am going to pick, I am gonna pick Spanish and I'm gonna pick Latin American Spanish, but I'm gonna click over here because I'm an adult. Now it says level one, lesson one, um, spa, oh, Spanish Elementary 3, Introducing Myself in Spanish. I can continue that lesson. And you'll see that these are the lessons that I've done, and it shows you how far in the lesson that I went. Didn't go very far here, here. So this lesson, I've done most of the vocabulary. I'm about halfway through. I'm having my personal, um, my personal learning goal. I can have my refresh, and then there's some other things that I can do on here as well, okay? I can do all of these different testing modes here. 
and it just I can jump around if I want to I can go over here to resources and you'll notice that there are some additional resources and these resources are specific to Spanish because that's what's showing up here okay so I've got the Spanish word of the day I've got a blog about Frida Carlo and Diego Rivera and then I have some other resources here I have a proficiency test for Latin American Spanish I've got even a Facebook page uh, that I could go to or Twitter or I could watch some YouTube original content on Latin America okay and then there's um, connect video tutorials as well here now go mobile with the transparent language application for OLO iOS and Android and you can click there and it's going to show you that you just you can use all of these right here and you can just use the QR code and it will automatically search for that app and you can use that on your device on your mobile device all right very 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 easy and then the kids speak is right here so if I click here He's showing it's very, very different. So it's going to be a very, very different experience in KidSpeak, but sometimes it's kind of fun to do it that way as well because you're going to learn a little bit differently. Okay. Now you can look at the different activities. These are the practice activities. You've got listening here. You've got reading here. You've got speaking here, and then you have writing. So let's dive into, well, let's go ahead and go back into this lesson. Remember this is a vocabulary. So either gonna, you're gonna read and listen to the Spanish and then you're going to look at the meaning of it, okay? Soy de. So, soy de is I am from. Me llamo. Me llamo. My name is. Como te llamas? Now, if I want to hear that again, all I have to do is come over here and click on the sound. Como te llamas? And it's going to go again. I could even slow it down. Como te llamas? Okay. Como te llamas? Right. And I can, of course, go to the previous word as well. I'm going to go to the next De word. donde eres? Let me do that one again. De donde eres? So, where are you from? This is like when you're talking to a friend, okay? De donde eres? All right. Go to the next one. And see, it shows me along the way until I get to 100% and it says, congratulations, you've completed this activity. I could play it again if I want to, or I could go to the next activity. And once again, it's showing me the what they're going to do, read and listen to the Spanish, and then say or think the meaning if you were correct, and find out if you were correct. So I'm gonna click on here. No soy. No soy. Um, I'm not sure. Show meaning. Oh, I am not. So I was not right. So I'm going to say no. No soy. No soy means I am not. Okay. And I'm now I got it. De. Um, hello. From, 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 from. Boy, I'm not good. I'm not doing De. well in here. De is from. All right. I got it. Soy de. Uh, where are you from? Oh, I am from. So I was closer on that. But you'll notice that it's showing me right up here how far I've completed. Now I can go to reference right here and I can look at some different areas as well. So I can look at the About Spanish, the Alphabet Explorer. Maybe I need to go back and really explore the alphabet in Spanish. Uh, maybe I'm more of an alphabet learner. And then, of course, some learning tips here. Let's click on that one. 
and it's going to show me some different things. So it says, watch the video, choose a video to play. So I click here, and this is about accent marks. And a lot of times you see accent marks in Spanish. So if you want to know about them, just click here. In Spanish, accent marks indicate that two vowels next to each other should retain their individual sounds. Frío. La cafetería. So I like how they're explaining it, and then they're also giving you some examples. So you've got a lot, you've got one, two, three, four, five right here that will give you some a good indication of why they use strong and weak vowels and Spanish accents and then pronunciation and consonants and all sorts of other things here as well. And then I can go right back to the activity or I could go over here and look at the grammar reference. And here are all the different grammar references. And I'm going to click right back to the back to the activity. Okay. And then if I go back to the menu and I keep going back to my page, you'll notice that it's going to update and it's noticing that it's a little bit further here, but I still need to learn that. Obviously, I was missing some, so I definitely need to learn more. But look at this. You've got lesson one all the way down here. I can keep going to lesson 20. And then remember, this is still learning path number one. So it's going to continue to take me along the journey as I learn more. All right. So definitely check out learning language. Um, oh, one thing I do want to point out, let me go back up here to browse more languages. Now, um, I try my best to speak English and I'm an English, a native English, native English speaker. See, I'm, I'm proving my point right here. Um, but if you know someone that uh, English is their second language, this is a great tool for them as well. So if you click right here under English, you'll notice that there's all of these languages here that are supported. So one of the classes I, I, I teach is English level two. And I was showing one of our wonderful students who speaks Japanese that this would be a great tool to click. And see, everything's written in Japanese first, but the focus is for the Japanese native speaker to be able to learn to speak English. And this is a great tool for anyone that is trying to learn English and that is not their first language. And these are all of the different languages that are, that are supported to learn English, okay? You've got Russian, uh, you've got Fosse, you've got Polish, you've got a whole bunch of them. And you'll also notice that if they have children, that all of these are support, uh, supported by Kids Speak. So children can also learn, but they're also learning from their native language first to then learn their second language, which would be English at this time, okay? So definitely, if you are interested, if you are thinking about going on a trip and who isn't these days, uh, and you're going to want to learn some of the language, uh, this is a great free tool with your library card. And of course, if you know someone that is a native speaker of a different language and they would like to learn English, point them out here to English here and then have them choose their language and then they can be learning how to speak English. Not only how to speak English, but also how to read and grammar and writing and all sorts of different things. All right, so once again, to get there, you go to our main page, you go to research databases, you then click to language learning, and then the next one is transparent languages. Now, before we go, I would like to point out some events that are happening up. Of course, are still, remember, we still have a few days left of July, and then we have August, and then the kids will start going back to school 
um, but we still have a lot of drop-in activities you can see here um, and wiggly worms that's a great one uh, and then we also have some outdoor events that are still going on as well there is a Harry Potter uh, trivia night going on at Green to Greenfield Green Township and then you've got uh, drop in, build that city. I wonder how that city's going over in Oakley. Um, an outdoor event, the Honey Hill Petting Zoo will be at North Central, and that's on Saturday. Read on the Green. Let's click here. Read on the Green is um, it's their very first annual Read on the Green, and it will be this Saturday, the 31st, from 1 to 5.30, and it's for all ages. And it's going to be a great community event. Look, it's for the whole family. They're going to have balloon animals, face painters, story time, local authors, and also games. And it's supposed to be beautiful this weekend. So definitely check out in College Hill, uh, Read on the Green, an annual event that's going to happen. And let me go back. Let me show you one more here. Oh, Great Parks over at Miami Whitewater Forest. They are going to have two story times over here. It starts at 10 and then there's another one at 11. Um, and that's what's really great because it's part of our Discover Summer program. And remember, Summer Discovery is got uh, Friday, Saturday. Oh, that's it. So you've got to get in there. And then uh, don't forget on Monday, we have the Hawksworth Summer Blood Drive Tour. Uh, it's been going to a lot of different branches this summer, and you can call this number right here, 541-0910, and uh, schedule an appointment to come in and donate some blood. All right, I'm going to click out and tell you a couple more things and call it a day. Well, all right, that was Transparent Languages. Uh, where you can use your library card to set up an account, and then you can even um, use it on a mobile device, a tablet, computer, um, a phone, any kind of device, and you can be studying a different language anywhere you go, uh, just with your library card. And also there's that feature, if you know someone that is ESOL, uh, English is their secondary language, then you can definitely um, point that out to them that they can learn English in a nice controlled environment as well. So um, the weather has been brutal this week and uh, storms today are supposed to push all that out. It's supposed to be a wonderful weekend. So get out and enjoy it. Um, you can go to uh, the Harry Potter uh, trivia night is happening at Green Township. Registration is required, but that's Friday. That's tomorrow from 7 to 8.30, so check that out. And then on Saturday, there's a wonderful outdoor, there's two wonderful outdoor events I want to point out, and I did earlier, but don't forget about Honey Hill Petting Zoo at North Central from 11 until 1. That's open to all. And then College Hill is having their first annual Read on the Green, and that is from 1 until 5.30, and that's a whole family event, all sorts of different activities that are going to happen there. And then on Sunday, another beautiful day, supposedly, um, but Great Parks, um, they're having a story time over there from 10 until 11, and that's going to be at My Miami Whitewater Forest, and that is from 10 until 11, so definitely check that out. And then on Monday, um, if you're downtown, we are having an all-day blood drive. It's part of our summer uh, project that we've had um, going on. And so it's going to be, Hawksworth is going to be down here and um, just schedule an appointment. And that would be great to help out uh, by donating your blood. Next week, we will talk a, a, about another subject um, that's dear, dear to my heart is school, going back to school. So we're going to be using and talking about some resources that we have for that. So I'll see you next week for Let's Learn. Have a, have a great week.